All right, y'all, Rick's Amount of Morning Show, hey, 28 minutes after the hour. Yeah, we're talking about this whole thing, Gary, uh, with uh, uh, Will. David and, 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 Will. Yeah, now, now uh, uh, we, uh, so we were having a conversation, so we decided to save it for the air. We was having a debate about, uh, uh, we know that they've been separated for seven years, according to TMZ. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and me and Kay, you know, we're comedians, so our perspective is, might be a little different. We're looking at each other like, so Chris Rock got slapped for nothing. Huh? Pretty much. Huh? Pretty much. Huh? Yeah, pretty much he got slapped for a woman that you ain't even with no more. Like, what? Well, so what do, you, what do you think that was all about? I think it was pent up. I think Will Smith had a lot of pent up frustration in him, a lot of pent up dysfunction from being in this unhealthy, toxic relationship for all these years. And I think the toxicity, that's what we saw that night. I don't even, I don't even think it was about the joke or nothing else. It was about years of Jada emasculating him. Yeah, There's also like an excerpt from the book that was released that Chris Rock reached out to Jada when she thought that she and Will were about to get a divorce, and he basically asked her out on a date. And she was like, no, Will and I are still together. Oh, oh man. And so there's that. Yeah, that was a piece of the book that was and released. And so she went back and told Will that Chris Rock Would probably tried to, tried to holler yeah. at her. Yeah. Mm. Or whatever. And uh, But they're not, they weren't, they, but they wasn't together. They weren't together, but they're not divorced. They're still together. They just separated. Oh, this is yeah. confusing. In sports, that's considered tampering. <laughs> she right. Ain't, she ain't released from that contract yet. You can't talk to her until she. But, all the way but away. even if she <laughs> was she released, away, like, why agent. would you want to take Jada out if she's been mar- in this relationship for a really long time? And they were and it's, friends. It's so public and yeah. It's kind of the bro code. And maybe yeah, him and yeah. Will ain't friends. Uh, maybe him and Will ain't friends. I don't think they're friends. They were friends. They show they have pictures. Well, they, well, they all have photograph. pictures together on the yeah. red everybody, carpet. Everybody work together. They yeah. gonna see each other to take pictures. Yeah, but you know this man. Why would you want this man's woman? Okay, but but does that justify him walking up on stage slapping him? Yep, because now I'm mad because she told me that you said that you tried to go and out. And what on if she had lied? How do you know it ain't true? You went to slap somebody because you slapped the wrong person, you lose your life. A lot of people in the cemetery have lost their uh, in the cemetery right now. For making a bad decision a like slap that, slap will get you killed quicker than a punch. I, I, I swear, I, I would have rather I, if Will Smith came on stage. I would rather him had punched me in the chest or punched me in the face, and I probably wouldn't have did nothing. But, but if he would have slapped me, yeah, open handed. If you would have open handed slapped me like I was a man, well, <laughs> he wouldn't have made it down the steps. I would have did a, a WWF. Hug. I would have went and dove and kicked him clean in his back, and I would have kicked him into Jada's <laughs> lap. Oh, he should have been happy the joke was cracked though, because that means he wasn't trying to holler at it. He cracked the joke about him. Yeah, and even if he did, so what? So what? It's a joke. What do you mean? But you don't make a joke about somebody's wife. It's everybody. Everybody got some on the front row. He roasted everybody. He was roasting men, women. Everybody got some. The sad part about it is they had us thinking it was because of her alopecia or whatever it is she got on uh-huh. her hair, and they had the world feeling kind of bad because you know she's going through all of this with her hair loss and all. And it yeah. wasn't even about none of that. None of them stopped the world from feeling sad for her. Yeah. Nobody stopped none of that. We all like, oh, well, maybe, you know, her hair. Now I kind of understand a little bit why he was so upset because she going through something emotionally because he talked about her head and said something about Demi Moore's movie or something yeah. and made a comparison. And then the Alopecia Coalition came out and started yeah, saying that they, people talking they about, they you know, a, the hair and stuff. But so. I think what celebrities need to understand is that you can be rich and famous and also maintain some sense of privacy those two scenarios can coexist because we see them happening right yeah you don't have to tell everybody your business look at uh denzel and his wife look at beyonce and jason we see a little bit but they don't you know you don't have to have everybody up in your business and i think their intention when they share things about their marriage is you know well we want to heal in front of the world and we want to be a great example but now that's her but you gotta live with that that. that's jay that's not like you gotta live with that right but I know one thing which y'all should realize. When I sit here and do this gossip and everybody, ah, they say, well, but there's a little smoke, there's some fire. You see what's coming out now? Yeah, you've been saying it for years. So, nah, so that's what it is. I mean, and when Will was out, did a song that we're not divorced and all that, mm, what's that about? I tell you what, I tell you what, uh, Will Smith, I don't care what they've been through, what they going through. I bet he went and walked up and slapped Earthquake. I bet he went and walked up and slapped Lavelle Crawford or Corey Holcomb or Steve or myself. I was number two on that list of comedians that he wanted to slap because he wouldn't have made it back to it. And then turn, you turned your back to me and walked down a flight of stairs after you slapped me? That's even more disrespectful. What kind of... I, I got, <laughs> see, see, I got that dog in me. Yeah, I got right. that eager in me. I, 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 I'm, I'm with Jesus, but, 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 but 
You just slapped you the Jesus. You ain't right? cheek kind of Jesus. At the end of the day, you're a grown man. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. Right. You're going down a flight of stairs. You know how much what you could do with a flight of stairs and somebody on their way down? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got to ran past them and slung him and took, boy, and look at here. Rock T, Rock T got a reservation at Jesus' table in heaven, and he would have slapped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Will Smith back. Grown no. man, man. Come on, dog. But y'all got to understand, dude, there's a different type of Negro. Chris Rock is not like y'all. He turned around and he just let the man slap. Him. I bet, I bet, I bet he wouldn't have slapped Chris uh, Rock if Tony Rock was sitting on the front row. Not at all. How about that? Not at all. I bet, I bet if Tony Rock Not was sitting on all. that front row, nope. I bet he wouldn't have did it. Or any one of them Rock brothers. He wouldn't. Have. But why you need a backup? He shouldn't have. Any, he did just what he did. I think and, Chris you know, Rock genuinely he thought it was. I think he genuinely thought it. Maybe this is a skit, and I should. He just seemed so shocked, he was shocked in the moment shocked and confused. Yeah. But the moment that hand hits you. Everything, all you, the shots. You still goes shot out the because window. the cameras are on. Yeah. You're trying to see yeah. it's a, a lot skit. going on. He's an actor. Will's yeah. an actor, or whatever. But Brad, we would have been Brad. Listen, you listen. would have been. Uh, it's, it's all too crazy to me because Will let it go on that that she cheated on him. I'd have been like, well, we ain't been together for seven years. She ain't cheated on me. Talking about the what you call it, the the entanglement entanglement thing. thing. Yeah, like. And then how manipulative to say that to call that. Entanglement. entanglement. It's just a manipulation of her, how yeah. you just you took that and, and just made cheating sound so nice by calling it entanglement. Yeah. And August Alcina made a song yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, but Will and Jada knew they weren't together, so why won't somebody just come out and say, you know what? We're not together. They, they, we got an open marriage. And, open and that's marriage. fine. Instead if that's what y'all want to do. Which we've been saying. Like Jada cheated on him. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like all manipulating the world. So I just feel different about every damn body on Man, the Man, if Will Smith would have stopped me, he would have been in the balcony. Ha, 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 ha!